Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's magnetic circuits or coupled circuits class two, we are going to see the important inductance equivalent calculation, especially when the inductors are arranged in series as well as in parallel. Here you can see the different arrangements of inductors. They're in series form and it is in parallel form. So in order to distinguish whether it is series in parallel, you have to observe that the current which is flowing through inductor one or coil one, it is coming out and it is going into the coil two, then it becomes a series combination. Whereas simultaneously, if the current eight is flowing in the coils together, then it becomes a parallel combination. Moreover, how to distinguish whether the connection it is cumulatively aiding or uh, differentially, uh, differentially arranged. So this also we can see in today's session. So let us go with the first uh, concept that is inductors arranged in series that is into cumulative arrangement where you have in figure one two coils uh, connected in series. Uh, the current which is flowing into the coil one and the same current which is coming out and it is going to the coil two and current in series remains the same. So the same current is flowing in coil one as well as in coil two. Then how to find out the total equivalent inductance? Now two coils are connected in series and are said to be in cumulative coupling mode as current in both the coils produce flux in the same direction. So that is the main catch over here. When it is called as cumulative, when both the coils are having a common current which produce a flux in the same direction, then it becomes a cumulatively coupled circuit and that is to series circuit. Now let us denote L1 as the coefficient of self inductance of coil 1 and L2 as coefficient of self inductance of coil 2 whereas M as the coefficient of mutual inductance present between coil 1 as well as in coil 2. Therefore, the self induced EMF in coil 1 will be obtained as minus L1 di by dt. This minus is because of a Lenz law. So, so the same current is flowing in coil 1 and as well as in coil 2 that is why it is di by dt and this is the formula for voltage developed across the inductor for a self-induced circuit. Similarly, self-induced EMF in coil 2 will be equivalent to minus L2 di by dt. So in these two, two coils are having two different inductor values L1 and L2 for the same current it is flowing that is why it is di by dt. Whereas the mutually induced EMF in coil 1 due to the change of current in coil 2 will be equivalent to minus m di by dt. So here the mutual inductance is formed between coil 1 and coil 2 that is because of the change of the current which is flowing in another coil. So fortunately it's a series circuit and that took cumulatively arranged. So the same current it is flowing hence the mutually flux which is obtained that is because of the flow of the current in the coil 2 or coil 1 respectively. Similarly, I can also obtain the value of mutually induced DMF in coil 2 due to the change of current in coil 1 as minus m di by dt. So both will be the same. Now the total induced EMF will be equivalent to B that is given by minus L1 plus L2 plus 2M. Why this plus 2M? Because two coils, that's why one mutual inductance from each coil. So that becomes total value as 2M di by dt. And we know that the equivalent inductance, the total inductance value will be given by L. So B is equal to minus L di by dt. So here you can equate equation 1 with equation 2. So that L will be equivalent to L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So this is the formula for total inductance when the coils are cumulatively arranged in this fashion. What if suppose the fluxes are opposing in the coil 1 and coil 2 means what the differential arrangement. A differential arrangement, you can see the current which is going to flow in coil 1 and coil 2. This is how the current it is going flowing in coil 1. It is coming out and it is flowing in coil 2 and it is coming out like this and finally the current will come out like this. So this type of arrangement it is known as differential arrangement where the flux produced will oppose the two coils in either directions. So this type of arrangement is called as differential arrangement. So the total induced DMO will be equivalent to minus L1 plus L2 minus 2M di by dt. Why this minus 2M? Because of one mutual induced voltage that is flow of that is due, due to the flow of current in the coil 2. So in coil 1 you can reset with coil 2 and also if at all you want to account it for 
coil two when the clock current in coil one that will be also equal to m. So overall the value will be equal to uh, m plus m it becomes two m and this minus indicates that it is flowing in the opposite. The flux is produced in the opposite direction. So overall v will be equal to minus l divided by dt so that the value of l will be equal to l one plus l two minus two m. Now from equation six and from equation three we can easily deduce the formula for the total inductance whether the arrangement is cumulative or differentially placed. Now what if the inductance are required to calculate in parallel circuit? So in figure three you can see coil one and coil two are in parallelly arranged and we need to account it for total inductance. And if at all the current has to flow, the current will flow at this particular node and it will be divided into two halves that is current I1 and I2. So the, for the cumulative arrangement, this is the uh, figure which is shown in 3. The coils are in parallel. Uh, so that the self-induced EMF in coil 1 will be equal to minus L1 di1 by dt. And similarly in coil 2 will be minus L2 di2 by dt. And if at all I want to have the mutual inductance, the mutual induced EMF in coil 1 due to the change of current in coil 2 will be equal to minus m di2 by dt. Similarly, mutually induced EMF in coil 2 due to the change of current in coil 1 will be equal to minus m di1 by dt. So total induced EMF in coil 1 will be equal to minus L1 di1 by dt minus m di2 by dt. And totally induced EMF in coil 2 will be equal to minus L2 di2 by dt minus m di1 by dt. So from equation 7 and equation 8, you can easily understand that the total induced voltage uh, in coil 1 as well as in coil 2 will be obtained with the help of formula 7 and 8. And this 7 and 8 will help us to obtain the total inductance value. We'll see how now. So since both the coils are connected in parallel, the EMF induced in both the coils must be equal. That is the true because voltage in parallel is the same. So this voltage is equal and made equivalent to this voltage. That is uh, either of the EMF induced are made equivalent to each other because of the voltages are said to be equal in parallel. So with these two arrangements, I will take this L1 on RHS side and L2 on LHS side so that the value of arrangement is L1 di1 by dt minus m di1 by dt, it will be equal to L2 di2 by dt minus m di2 by dt. In fact, I can take this di1 by dt as common so that the L1 minus m will be equal to di1 by dt equal to L2 minus m di2 by dt and di1 by dt in terms of L1, L2 and m is obtained as in equation 9. I hope you understood how we have framed equation 9. Also, we know that I is equal to the total current will be equal to I1 plus I2. Then it indicates that di by dt will be equal to di1 by dt plus di2 by dt. Just substitute the value of di1 by dt from equation 9 in this equation. So I'll be getting the value of di by dt will be actually equal to L1 plus L2 minus 2m by L1 minus m di2 by dt. And this I'm treating as equation 10. So you can see we have obtained equation 7, 8 equation 9 and 10 and now if L is the equivalent inductance of the parallel combination then the total induced EMF is given by B equal to minus L di by dt therefore L di by dt will be equal to L1 di1 by dt plus m di2 by dt this is nothing but since the induced EMF in parallel combination is same as the induced EMF in maybe one coil that is why you are taking this formula L di by dt is equal to L1 di1 by dt plus m di2 by dt. Now just substitute the value of di by dt by taking L in denominator of this particular equation. So 1 by L, L1 di1 by dt plus m di2 by dt. Already we know that di1 by dt in terms of di2 by dt is obtained to be L1 L2 minus m by L1 minus m di2 by dt. Now taking this di2 by dt as common. I am going to get 1 by L, L1, L2 minus M by L1 minus M plus M di2 by dt. So this we are treating as equation 12. Now just equating equation 10 and equation 12 because already we have from equation 10 the di by dt value and 
here again from 12 you again we have we have added values so we are equating these two values so that this equation 10 rhs and equation 12 rhs will be equivalent to like this and you have to remove the unlike terms di2 by dt di2 by dt will be cancelled over here and i will get the value of l l i will take on the left hand side of the numerator and this entire thing i'll take on to the denominator of this particular parameter so l will be equivalent to l1 l2 minus m by l1 minus m plus m divided by l1 plus l2 minus 2m by l1 minus m in fact i'll take the multiplication in proper way such that l1 l2 minus l1 m plus l1 m minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m so overall the value of inductance will be equivalent to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m now this is the formula of total inductance when the two inductors are placed parallel and the two the arrangement is cumulative so this is the formula of total inductance likewise if at all we have differential arrangement so that the current it is flowing in this fashion you can see the coil 1 and coil 2 the current it is flowing so that the flux produced in the coil 1 and coil 2 they will be quite opposite to each other so they will not aid each other they will oppose each other so the total in induced emf in coil 1 will be equal to minus l1 plus m di2 by dt this is l1 di1 by dt plus m di2 by dt similarly induced emf in coil 2 will be equal to minus l2 di2 by dt plus m di1 by dt and since both the coils are connected in parallel the emf induced in both the coils must be equal so these two values are made equivalent and i'm going to get the value of di1 by dt in terms of l2 m and l1 m so that is nothing but l2 plus m by l1 plus m di2 by dt so let me treat this equation as 13. So the same derivation what we have done. Only the thing is that here the change of the signs are obtained. Previously we had here minus and minus. Now we got here a plus and plus. That's the difference. Also we know that I is equal to I1 plus I2 per parallel arrangement. The com combination of current is nothing but the sum of the two currents. So di by dt will be equivalent to di1 by dt plus di2 by dt. Already we have frame from di1 by dt from equation 3, 13. And I'm just replacing the values. So that I'm going to get the value of di by dt will be equivalent to L1 plus L2 plus OM by L1 plus M di2 by dt. Let me treat this equation as 14. So di by dt in terms of 14 equation we have obtained for differential arrangement. Now if L is the equivalent in inductance of the parallel combination we know that we will be equivalent to minus l di by dt and total inductance value is nothing but the total inductance l di by dt equal equivalent to l1 di1 by dt minus m di2 by dt in fact di by dt so taking this l in the denominator of this particular parameter and in fact i'm going to take di1 by dt whose values in terms of di2 by dt is obtained to be l2 plus m by l1 plus m di2 by dt taking di2 by dt common over here I'm going to get di by dt. Now this I'm treating as another equation. And di by dt from this equation and di by dt from equation 14, we can easily compare and we can make equivalent to these two values such that di2 by dt, di2 by dt, they can cancel out. And I'll be left with again vector L is equal to L1 L2 plus L1 minus N minus l1 m minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus 2 m so that the total inductance value will be equal to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus 2 m so this is the formula for total inductance for differential arrangement for parallel circuit so in this class we have seen uh, figure 1 figure 2 figure 3 and figure 4 the different types of coil arrangements in series cumulative series differential form in parallel cumulative and in parallel differential form and the formulas we what we have obtained is l1 l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2m for cumulative coupling and l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus 2m for differential coupling whereas for parallel circuit we have inductance is equal to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m whereas for differential arrangement the value will be l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus 2m so in the next class we are going to see different numericals involved with the uh, inductance which are arranged in series and in parallel and we try to find out the mutual inductance or coefficient of coupling or overall inductance of the coil that is what we are going to see in the next class till then please stay connected to the channel and please subscribe to our channel
and please press the bell icon for future notifications thank you